if I had depression, postnatal depression, psychosis, any of that, it would make me feel like a less, lesser of a person, lesser of a parent, like I wasn't able to do it. And I f that was definitely my biggest fear. Not necessarily the judgment from others, but more of my own insecurities about it, if that makes sense. I'm Maria <laughs> and I run Happy Mum Happy Child which is a parenting blog and uh, website and social media accounts and that was kind of born out of a need to document the activities that I did with my kids. So prior to becoming a parent I have suffered from anxiety before and I have been medicated for it. It was only about six months out of my life. Um, also my um, a very close family member has experienced postnatal psychosis so coming into pregnancy and motherhood I knew there could be an opportunity for me to get um, not down, but to be affected by parenting. So I was always very open with my husband, uh, but the whole experience really took me by surprise because my symptoms were anger. And the turning point for me was when something upset me, I don't even remember what it was, but I ended up lying down on the floor and crying for 10 minutes. And while I was crying, I thought something is not right. This is not right for me to do this. And my husband came home from work that night and I said, I think I need to make a doctor's appointment. I think I need to go and talk about this with someone. And that's kind of where it started. So everybody's journey with depression or any mental illness is different. And what I go through is not the same as what someone else goes through. But that doesn't mean that the steps to take to make yourself in a better space aren't the same. I was embarrassed, I definitely was embarrassed. So I think it took me at least a year to speak to my friends. But my biggest advice for people is to reach out and ask for help. And I know that is the biggest step, the hardest step. Do not sit there and think, okay, I'm fine, but actually continue to not be fine. Talk, talk, talk. So it is day one million, one million of the school holidays. And Phil is going to do some renovations to the house today. So me and the kids are going to go to Kiwi Valley Farms. I do a lot of what I do to help myself feel less alone. So I share my journey because I want people to say, I'm going through that too, because I like knowing that. Are there other people out there that are similar to me and that in turn helps other people realize that they're not alone. During the times that I really struggled to express how I felt, when I came across other people's blogs who had been through something similar was great for me because I could share it with my husband and so I'd like, I like to think sometimes that something that I've gone through has been able to help somebody else even just express how they're feeling because I know not a lot of women experience rage, rage is not something that you know, you think about somebody that cries a lot and gets sad and thinks bad thoughts, but often it's not rage. Parenting is still a struggle for me. I, I might not be the best parent, I might not be the best blogger, but I feel like I'm doing something that I love. I love being a parent, yes, it's challenging, but I also love connecting with people as well and I love talking. I have no issue with talking, I have no issue with being an idiot and people laughing and yeah. I feel a bit more at ease with who I am now after the struggles. <laughs>